What's up guys, good morning. For my next vlog post, I wanted to see what you guys wanted to hear more about. Um, I was thinking either my history with surfing in the ocean or like a top five or top 10 list of my favorite beaches. So please uh, vote below and let me know. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? Good morning. Back at the vlog after one day off. Kind of crazy. Uh, started vlogging a little over a month ago and hadn't had a day off. So kind of weird. Kind of felt like I never did it at all. Felt like it would be super easy to never do it again. But I'm back. So if you guys didn't uh, notice, I posted in the uh, discussion tab on my channel here um, that after a lot of thought I've decided to take a day off from the vlog every week I'll be taking Sundays off um, that's kind of our family day uh, and I do work really late that night I work till 10 30 I'm not usually home till 11 and then I've been editing into like well into like 1 a.m. and sometimes even as late as 2 I'm editing and uploading the vlog so uh, and because that's a cons consistent part of my schedule, we've kind of decided that that'll be the day that I have off. So what that means for you guys, the, the vlog posting schedule will be, since I usually post around midnight, it will be essentially Tuesday through Sunday. So because I'm not doing a vlog on Sunday, that will mean you won't get a new one on Monday for you. The only day you guys don't get a brand new vlog will be on Monday morning, if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, Sundays sometimes can be pretty eventful though too, so I still will be filming the vlog, it's just that it will be lumped into the Monday vlog. So Sunday and Monday will essentially be one video, one vlog, so. Because um, yeah, sometimes I go down to the river and surf on Sundays too, before work. Lately I've been surfing Tahoe and like the river and everything and um, I don't know how but this entire Tahoe surfing season I've gotten by with either really old hand-me-down gloves that I had before or the gloves that I bought a couple months ago from Clean Line Surf Shop go check them out guys super cool surf shop um, I used to shop up there when I lived in Portland. I used to go, they're out in Seaside, and I believe they have one in Cannon Beach, um, which is my general stomping grounds for when I'm on the North Coast. Um, and super cool surf shop. Best part about shopping from them, like throughout the country, is that there's no sales tax because they're in Oregon. So um, definitely recommend going in there. They have a lot of good sale items. Um, but go check them out, cleanlinesurf.com, I believe. I'll put the address for them right, right below here. Um, super cool guys, super cool surf shop, and I definitely recommend supporting them. So yeah, I bought those gloves, uh, and I had a hard time figuring out what size to get. Um, after a lot of thought, I ended up getting the medium gloves, hoping they would fit, and they fit, but they're actually pretty tight, which I thought they, that was how it, they should be. Um, but after a lot of use, I've noticed that it's just cutting off the circulation of my hands and that's why they're getting purple. As you've seen in some of my vlogs, my hands are consistently getting purple. Um, the other day when I surfed Tahoe last Wednesday, um, the Surfing Lake Tahoe vlog, um, that became a problem because my entire body was warm enough to keep surfing for another hour or two, but my hands were so cold that they led me to like minor hypothermia. So it's definitely something worth investing in. I'm getting a new pair of gloves today from Clean Line Surf Shop in Oregon. Um, I'm gonna buy them on my lunch break today at work, so I'm stoking on that. We are getting little, just little drifts right now of snow. It's supposed to go on a little bit all day. It's not gonna accumulate into anything. Um, but yeah, and it's 41 degrees. Actually kind of a beautiful day out. Yesterday was actually a really good day for Tahoe Surf. Um, I would have gone, obviously, but it was Sunday and I work late. And Tahoe Swell usually builds until about noon. 
Um, there are rare occasions, especially in the in the deep winter time, where you'll have waves right at sunrise, which is actually like the day I met John. We had like a dawn patrol sesh. So, um, but around this time of year, it seems like, and then in the fall as well, it seems like the swell will build until about noon or even two or even later, like the other day when we went. So yeah, John ended up going up to the lake, uh, I think around two o'clock with our other buddy, Zach, and they scored hard at Sand Harbor uh, in Nevada. So apparently it was six, six plus foot waves at Sand Harbor yesterday. I was getting pretty anxious because uh, I knew they were getting in the water. I didn't know where they would be. Um, and then I get a text around 5.30 yesterday while I'm at work, John saying, six plus feet, Sand Harbor. So yeah, happy they were able to score some waves. Sounds like it was epic. Sounds like it was better. It was the best of the three days that we've had recently. So definitely a little jealous. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm going to jump into today's vlog topic. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys on Instagram for uh, getting back to me. Um, I was stoked to have so many people vote. The favorite five beaches category won by a landslide. I think it was like 90%. Um, it was actually 100% until like the very end. Somebody had voted. I think it was one person voted for, um, you know, the history of my surfing and all that stuff so which I'll probably get to that eventually as well but I think this is fun I think I'm gonna keep posting on Instagram for you guys uh, give you guys some options on what you want to hear first of all this was a really hard list to do I've been to a lot of beaches but only really on the west coast of America I haven't mu done much surf traveling or anything um, I guess that's something you'll hear more about when I get into the, the my surfing history um, <clears throat> but basically being from California, living in Oregon for a long time in my adult life, and then now living here, uh, I've also lived in the Bay Area for a few years. My favorite beaches list is uh, obviously going to be kind of limited to the West Coast. Um, so, yeah. Number five, South Oceanside. So this is the one where it's kind of encompassing a larger area, but I love the south part of Oceanside. There's kind of like a little um, lagoon that separates Carlsbad and Oceanside. So when you're driving north on the on Pacific Coast Highway from Carlsbad, California, um, you kind of travel over this lagoon, you come around the bend, and then you kind of drift into Oceanside there. And pretty much from there over to the Oceanside, um, pier which I like to stay as far away from the pier as possible I haven't actually surfed the pier I probably will eventually now that I'm starting to get more comfortable with crowds but my main thing also is like I don't like surfing with crowds I don't like um, having to wait for waves I like to being able I like to be able to just jump on a wave if I see one um, I'm not a good enough surfer to um, pick and choose and wait on other people having said that South Oceanside is great because a lot of times there's nobody around and the best part too is it's just like, it's all sand down there. So it's really easy to just find a find a little peak or a little chill wave to hit with your friends and have nobody else really competing with you for that wave. Um, my favorite surf experiences have been just me and my friends, you know, out trying to get one, uh, one wave together with nobody else really there. So yeah, South Oceanside, beautiful beaches, um, very little people around, kind of on the outskirts of um, some of the main, or main beaches of North County, San Diego. So I definitely recommend that beach. Number two on the list, uh, I recently surfed there on my vlog um, the other day, Manresa State Beach in Watsonville, California, south of Santa Cruz. It's in the Monterey Bay. Um, definitely recommend that spot. Super sick. Um, that's more of a break where you got some other people out and you're kind of in a lineup. But for some reason, I felt really comfortable there. I felt really welcomed. Um, not a big, like, locals-only vibe. Um, and everybody was just super frothing to be out there. So I really, really liked that spot. Definitely going to go back there soon. 
um, cool sandbar break. And it was a cool beach. It was the kind of beach where you can just roll up, look over the cliffs, scope the beach, bring the kids down the stairs. Number three on the beach, I grew up going to this beach, Moonlight Beach in Encinitas, California. Super family friendly. When I was in high school, we used to go down there and have bonfires all night. You know, high school parties were down there. And it was cool because it was always like a first come first serve thing. So if you were to just show up at like <clears throat> 3 or 4 p.m. and just reserve a fire pit, I mean, probably got to reserve it even quicker now. But um, you just grab a fire pit and start hit heating it up. And uh, I mean, I just have so many good childhood memories of like family get togethers or hanging out, having a huge bonfire on the beach till really late at night love this beach for that um also i've had some great surf sessions there especially uh last november didn't quite make it in the vlog this was like before i started vlogging head on and it was kind of um when i was still doing instagram stories as vlogs almost absolutely love this beach um both for the family fun and the surfing is pretty good as well number two on the list short sands in oregon I don't even know what town it's in. I don't even know if it's in a town, but it's right off the 101. If you were to head west from Portland, um, you would take the highway out to, um, there's a split on the 101. You got Seaside to the north, Cannon Beach to the south. Right when you hit uh, Cannon Beach, keep going through Cannon Beach, um, and then I believe it's either on your way to Manzanita, Oregon, or just past Manzanita, but I think it's on the way to Manzanita. Um, you'll kind of go up into the mountains a little bit, and then you pull off. There's a huge parking lot. You'll often, in the summer especially, see like surfboards on cars everywhere, just a loaded parking lot. Very popular beach um, for beginning surfing, and rightfully so. It's just an epic spot. And uh, the, the other name for it is Smuggler's Cove. Um, because it's literally just a huge cove and it's great like there's left hand waves there's right hand waves um, perfect place in the summer to just roll up and just have so much fun um, best place to start learning to surf in Oregon for sure and actually my favorite wave that I've ever caught in my entire life was at short sands so I really this beach I hold dear to my heart um, I love it I miss it I wish I could surf there more <clears throat> that was pretty much my spot when I lived up in Portland. I would go there like at least every other week I would surf there. And I tried a lot of other surf spots in the, on the north coast of Oregon, but I always ended up um, just loving short sands the most. Um, just the most consistent, most predictable, um, least amount of dangers. And yeah, just love that spot. Number one on the list, warm waters in Carlsbad, California. Pretty much the only reason that I have to say this beach is number one in my heart is it was my home break until I was about 18 years old when I moved. Um, now, when I get into my surfing history, you'll know that I didn't really do much surfing as a kid. I kind of grew up just body surfing and boogie boarding uh, or body boarding and I was actually really good on a body board. Um, my favorite thing to do was to get up on my knees and just do some sick little 360s down the line. So that was like my um, stoke of choice when I was a kid. But I definitely have always loved being in the ocean and like catching waves. It was just really a matter of um, not having enough money to purchase a surfboard as a kid and it wasn't a big enough priority because I already had ways of catching waves. I have probably hundreds of memories of being in the water at this beach. It's really just close to my heart. I grew up there, that was my home break, and like summers, I just was there every day. Just sandy, um, we'd hit the hot tub after. I never really showered for like for an entire, entire summers, I just never showered. It'd be like beach in the morning until about like 2 o'clock p.m. And then hot tub in the afternoon. 
and maybe some burgers and stuff by the pool. So that was just <laughs> pretty hard life. That was how I grew up. So, you know, I definitely struggle with that nowadays as an adult. You know, I want my kids to have those experiences. Um, I wish that I ha could ha still have those experiences. Um, I just really loved growing up down there. And so warm waters to me is like the perfect spot. It's the best spot for kids. Um, epic little waves right off the jetty. And it's called warm waters for a reason. For some reason, it's got the warmest waters on that little stretch of coast. The locals, we say that it's warm waters because of the power plant that's right there, uh, which is a little sketchy. I always thought that was a little weird that there's warmer water because of a power plant. Um, which there's probably some truth to that. But uh, regardless, I love this beach, absolutely love it. And I actually was there also on my um, last surf trip down to San Diego. I got to surf at warm waters and it was actually way better than I remembered. The right hand waves that come right off the jetty there were super fun. Um, and it was kind of cool. That might be the first time I've ever actually like surfed on a surfboard at warm waters um, but that's just where I grew up like I said bodyboarding body surfing and so I just really love really love that beach thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed my list of top five favorite beaches go follow me on Instagram if you aren't already at the water with three underscores in the middle I'll put it right down here give you guys the option to vote on what you'd like to hear about especially on these days where I have to work and there's not much action going on. Um, it's nice to have something that, you know, a, a topic that you guys are passionate about or that you want to hear about to be able to talk about. So, yeah, stoked. Thanks for participating once again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.